come with you. You can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our Create Your Family selection. Okay, there we go. Ben and Silver 1287 back again on a Skype Saturday on Sunday. On uh, Skype Sunday. <laughs> Boy, that's a lot of mouth words. And we are now doing Family Feud. And we picked up the breeze with us. Howdy. Mm. We're doing good. Except I got a, I got giggles. We're about to have fun. Backstage. Okay. You need to pick a family. Well, it's since. Right. Since we played the Jones' family, we're gonna play as this. And we're hoping to get ready on old Fox with us. This is our 39th game one. You know, it's always a hundred people. Never know. 189234. Try to give the most popular one. Both families ready? Yeah. Tell me something you try to make as shiny as possible. Your answer, family number one. Tell me something you trying to make as shiny as possible. Show us car. Number one. Car. All right. Good answer. Number one. Are you going <laughs> to We're going to play, Larry. Is going to play. <laughs> you what? You what? Something you try to make as shiny as possible. Teeth. Okay. Show me the answer. Oh, yes. Good answer, but no. Got to give you a strike. Oh. Now, player, what? what's your guess? Tell me 
Number two, uh, number two. Right on. Number three. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Another player. Thirteen Another said it. For shoes. Tell me something you try to make as shiny as possible. Yeah. Okay, how about the floor? Ooh. Shiny floor to walk on. I hope it's up there for you. Oh, oh well. Uh oh, that's strike right, number two. Number two. Tupperware. Oh, Tupperware, of course. Tell me something you're trying to make as shiny as possible. It is. All complete. Okay. Me the answer. Now fall to number two. Yes, indeed. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> another player. You need another answer. Ooh. Tell me something you try to make as shiny as possible. Number six. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. <laughs> the what? Ooh. Like flatware. Yeah. Tell me something you try to make as shiny as possible. Top six. Oh, well, you haven't barely picked this up. All right, our next thing. Another player. We need another answer. Tell me something you try to make as shiny as possible. A bowling ball. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bowling ball. And now we got Lady Unknown Fox with us. And, oh, and bowling ball is not up there. We scored the point. Good answer, but it's not there. Sorry. How are you? All right, family number one. You got the points. Let's see what was in four. What was in the fifth? Jewelry. Kitchen floor. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Uh, we got the point in either way. Family number one, you're playing right. Making a bowling ball shiny. Oh yeah, for better performance. Let's go. It's time for round two.
We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are up on the board. Here we go. Both families ready? Tell me something yeah. people go on vacation to get away from. Okay, family number one. How about your job? Alright, show me that answer. Well, Seventy said it. Work. Yes, indeed. We're playing. You got it. Our number one answer. Number one is going to play. I got one. Stress, yeah. That's a bit less they can die. Tell me something people go on vacation to get away from. How about stress? Okay. Show me the answer. Number three. Excellent. Only seven people said it. Good answer. Good answer. The <laughs> 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 what? Tell me something yeah. people go on vacation to get away from. Children. Okay. Show me the answer. Number two with eight people said it. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> another player. You need another answer. How about the telephone? Tell me something. People go on vacation to get away from. Only one to go. All right. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Tell me something people go on vacation to get away from. One, Show two, me three, now. Oh. That's strike number one. Oh. Next player, oh. what's your guess? Yeah, try that one. Tell me something people go on vacation to get away from. Let's see if it's up there. Two, three, now. There we go. Yeah. You sure nailed that one. Well done. Yes, family number one gets the point. Well, we shut that round. One seventy to Zippo. Now it's round number three. Okay, it's round three. Let's go. Yes. I need two more players up here. Let's go. Hundred people surveyed. Top three answers up on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. That's just gonna be mighty fast. You ready to do this? Name something that mail carriers hate. Dogs. 
What do you think it is, family number one? All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Dogs. Yeah. We're playing. Our top answer. Way to go. Are you gonna? We're playing. You're playing? Okay. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something that mail carriers hate. I was gonna say weather again. Oh, Sorry, not on the board. That's strike one. Oh. Another player. We need another answer. Name something that mail carriers hate. Oops. It's up there for you. Bad weather, that'll work. Woo Absolutely. How about? How about? Kids? Be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. A stripper. Oh. Careful. Only one more strike. Next no. player. What's your guess? Coy no, no. <laughs> I know he's online, but he hasn't come to the call yet. Packages. There we go. I hope it's up there for you. No. No. Well, that was another good try. Good guess, but it's not up there. The load is really heavy. They have to be delivered by UPS. All right, family number one, you got the points. What was in third? Junk mail. Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. What else would be spam mail? Remember, families, it's anybody's game. The last round will decide. Wow. 
round four, points are tripled, and there's only one strike. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then, the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. Come on, another player from each family. We surveyed a hundred people. You know, it's always a hundred people, never ninety. Top six answers are up on the board. Try to give the most popular one. Ready? Name a bad habit that usually makes a person a bad roommate. Mess. Messy. Your answer, family number one. Let's see if it's up there. You know what? Messy. Excellent. We're passing. Good answer. We're number one. Pass. Play. Pass. All right then. And we're gonna ask you pass. We're gonna ask you pass. Another player. We need another answer. a bad habit that usually makes a person a bad roommate. Smoking? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Is it's it up, up there? there? Number two. Yes, indeed. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> so again. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? a bad habit that usually makes a person a bad roommate. It's quiet. No. What? All right. Let's see if it's on the board. I got one. That's oh. oh, well. It's not up there. I got to give you a strike. Next family, you can steal. Holy oh, crap. Name a bad I know he's messy. A person, a bad roommate. I thought he's also lazy. Is it there? Show us. Three, two, one. Bingo. Cool. Now, Mikey's going first. Who's going second? Alright. Uh, yes. Family number one gets the point. What was three, four, and five? It was in third place. Uh -oh. Let's see what was in fourth. Snowing. What was in the fifth? Too place? neat. Body odor. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. I think I'll lace us up there, too. Uh -oh. Five whole three to nothing, and I got a bloody nose. Congratulations, everyone! The fast money round is coming up with our top money winner. I'll be fine. Family number one. Time to play yeah, fast like money you. round. I need two people from your family. Let's go. All right. I see we could pull another ten thousand dollar win. And the game process. Yep. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish reading the first question. Ready, Mikey? Yeah. Tell, me Tell me and make two of you always have dry to have dry dry clean. Uh, what is it? 
tummy and material, you almost always have to dry clean. Then my house or to you stand up to do. Name something a traveling salesman needs. Uh, a a three. Completely out of money, name a place you look for some. Uh, uh, the bank. Right. Are you ready for this one? Yeah. Number five. Name something worn in summer. <laughs> There, Mikey, I swear. Hey, go! <laughs> Tell me a material you almost always have dry clean. Jacket. Ouch. Name a household chore you stand up to do. Vacuum, that's a good one. 24. Name something a traveling salesman needs. Suitcase. Only four cents. When you're completely out of money, name a place you look for some. The bank. 15. <laughs> no, I know. Song. And it's simply Doodah! We have our second player. Same five questions. Try oh. to get the most popular answers. If you don't know it, pass, and I'll get back to it at this time. Good luck. Okay, I'm here. Mikey got you 43. Tell me a material you almost always have dry clean. Well, whatever you're telling me, Tell me a material you almost always have dry cleaned. Oh, oh. Whoops. Uh, Name a household chore you stand up to do. A household chore you stand up to do? Yeah. Thank you. Try again. something a traveling salesman needs. Uh, a Wait a minute. Nope, when you're actually that was. Name a place you look for some. Suitcase is different. Suitcase is different than the briefcase. Okay. Wow. Okay. When you're completely out of money, name a place you look for some. Uh, the couch. Oh. Here's the final one. Name something worn in summer. Uh, sure. No, I just have a mom. You little... <laughs> 
<laughs> he didn't say a song. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought a song. Sauce. <laughs> I thought. Let's take a look at your answer. Tell me a material you almost always have dry cleaned. Whoa. 44, and that was the number one. In household show, you stand up to do. Washing the dishes. Also number one. Something a traveling salesman needs. Yeah, 135. Briefcase. Only 12. Yeah, 147. Yeah, 147. The couch. 21. I think we got it. We got it! And short was the one. And the breeze said, save, save today with 10,000 dollars rated. Why do I ever come up with song? for the Jerry Springer show, I mean, Jerry Springer show. <laughs> Thank you for watching this baby. If you would like to spank us, uh, spank. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I like to spank my own pet, bud. Oh, uh, yeah, Pussy. Hey, what you doing, man? Yeah. How's it? Oh, I'd like to thank my sky guests for being a part of it and helping out. 
and we will see you all in the next video.